hello and welcome back to my channel so I thought I would do an it to um, nail art so in this video I'm gonna do Pennywise this is the first time well actually I lied this is the actual second time I've ever done a hand painted video uh, nail art so I just thought I got quite a good response on my uh, Facebook page I thought I'll make a video because someone said could you make a video so I was like okay I will so I got a tip and I gave it two coats of uh, white from glitter bells so um, I baked that top coated it and I'm using a fine liner brush from glitter bells because all my brushes are glitter bells because I absolutely love their products now the gel paints I'm using some I got from Yayogi I will definitely put a description in the link in the description box below but um, some I got from somewhere else but I can't remember so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outline of the eye now I personally think my first attempt is a lot better than this one but um, yeah you've just got to really I've sped this up as fast as it can go to be honest with you You've got to really um, take your time um, and just don't rush it. Just be as, if it takes you ages, take you ages. On my first attempt, on my first eye, it took me an hour just to do the eye. And I still had the rest to do as well. So what I do is once I've done the eye, <clears throat> I'll just flash bake it for 10 seconds just to keep that paint still so that while I'm painting, some more detail on it, it's not going to budge. Um, I use my thumb as a palette because I found it easier to have a little blob of paint on my thumb <coughs> sorry, than I did have on going backwards and forwards from the tub of paint. Now, um, it's, you know, these brushes are wonderful so you can get some good little bits of detail. I know I don't feel, this is as zoomed in as I can possibly get on my phone. Um, you know, I just thought, give it a go. So I've done some eyelashes so now I'm going to get a bit of top coat. Oh, I've got a tile that I use for putting as a, you know, for doing paints and that, mixing colours and stuff. So I've got a tile and a little bit of what black. And what I did is I just made it into a wash because you need it for the shadowing. So you just mix it until you get to the right colour that you want. And then <coughs> what I did was I mixed it with my brush. <coughs> brush is full of so much paint. Scrooge, 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 mix, 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 dab, 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 dab. And once you're happy with it, you just put a little tiny bit on the inside corner of the eye. You've got to make it come down like it's a shadow. And on the outside, there's just a tiny little bit. Now, I had the picture up on my iPad. See, now that actually looks better on the camera than it did. And I've faded out too much, really, before or after. So, but you want it to fade out as opposed to have a, a definite cut off line because you need to fade it out. It's just a shadow, you know? I've got a bit of um, lint-free wipe and on there is just a bit of rubbing alcohol just to keep my wipe my brush on and keep it clean. I think I should have put a little bit more shadow in on there, but you know, once you're happy with it, you just bake it. So now I'm getting white. Why am I getting white? What am I getting white for? Oh yeah, I think I'm going to make his eyebrow. So his eyebrow's white, but I wanted to give it a little bit of definition so you could see it. So what I did was, I put a little tiniest blob of black and mixed it with the white. And you just mix it until you're happy with the colour. Now that was definitely too dark, because you can hardly see it really, but I just wanted you to know that he did have an eyebrow. So I think I added a little bit more white, just to lighten it up a bit more really. So I just mixed it all together, got it as light as I possibly could have it without it going back to white again. Mixed it up really well and then what I did with my detailer brush is I just, with a detailer brush, if you drag it through your paint, you've loaded the whole brush with colour, which is easier to paint with than it is to just have a little bit on your tip. So you just drag the whole brush through and then that way the whole brush has got the colour that you need in it. So I just tried to give it a bit of definition. Um, to be honest, this took me 
To do this eye, this time, it only took me half an hour, only because I knew what I was doing this time round. It was quicker. Oh, get a shot, lordy, lordy. And uh, so I just thought, yep, I'll just do a video because someone asked me. Um, I quite like doing this artwork. I've never done it before and I've enjoyed it. Now I'm getting three colours because I've got to do the uh, iris. I had to think of what it was called then. So I've got a red, an orange and a yellow and I just put them on my palette. Just a little bit of each just so that I can mix them together to get the definition of the eye that he has. Like like an orangey, reddy, burnty colour. It's like, ooh. <clears throat> so I just put them out on my palette. And f what I did was, why have I done that first? Now hold on a minute, I should have done his iris first, the pupil first. Oh no, what I did was this one. First I done the red on the inside of his eye. Um, ah, because it's red on the vid on the picture. I've got an actual different red because it's a darker red. This one I think I got from Model 1's. I don't know. I will definitely put a link in the box below so you know exactly where I got it from. So this red is darker. I needed a darker red to go on the inside of his eye. So you go on the inside and like a red eyeliner, basically. And you just paint it red. And then if you're not happy with it or you've made a mess, you just get another brush that's just a little tiny bit wet of either rubbing alcohol or a bit of nail varnish removal, acetone actually, and you just clean it up. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to make it a little bit darker because if you look, some of it's dark. Um, I didn't get as a great result on this nail as it is in my first one. But what I do is I'll put a picture up on my first one on the video so you can see, oh, again, out of shot, as always. The thing is, the way I have my camera, I just can't always see. You know, it's it's above me, so I can't always see. And it's the point of the wife to constantly get up and look. It drives me nuts, man. I'm going to be known as Mish, the nail artist, as such, <laughs> who always goes out of shot. See, so you just make it a little bit red. In there, you need to get just a little bit darker, just to make it look a bit more shady um i f don't know if you can see it on this bit but i actually did put in come over i actually did put in oh here we go i think it's this bit you can't see it because yeah i'm out of shot because why wouldn't i be i put little like red veins in his eyes just tiny little ones just to give it a bit more because that's what i didn't do yeah out of shot oh yeah boy excuse my fingers A bit ropey. See, look, veins. Oh, you can just about see it. Blink and you'll miss it, mate. Trust me. Now I'm going to do the outline outline of the eye. So you just do a fine line. I found I've done this a bit too thick on this one because on the other one it's a bit better. But um, oh for fuck's sake. But there you go. You get the idea. So now I'm going to colour the pu the iris, not the pupil. What I did with my first eye is was that I coloured it with the colours and then I painted the iris after, the pupil after, but on this one I painted the whole eye and then added the pupil after because it was just easier. Because you're trying to blend them colours in. To be honest with you, I didn't do a great job because I shouldn't have really... I don't know, my other eye looked different, but it's not a problem. I just, you just get your colours that you want and you mix it and, you know, you do what you can to make it look at least like eyeish. And I keep on going at a fucking shot. I mean, you get the idea. I'm going to have to move my camera somewhere. It's just that <clears throat> I've actually now got somewhere to do my nails and it so happened to have a shelf right above it. So I sit my camera on it and it sits there perfect, but it's too high. See, look, I just colored the whole iris in. 
and then what I did was I just cleaned up the edges what I do is I just clean up the edges with a bit of a brush just to make sure it's trying to and then I realized I baked a little tiny bit of orange on but it's like eh, done now so now I should have baked it and then you will see what am I giving white? Oh yeah, I was going to get a bowl white to cover up the orange, but it looks shit, so I just took it off because it's like, nope, that looks quite niche. Stop it. So you don't really need to worry about what that was doing there because that was shit. Like, nah, that's shit. Take it off, take it off. Did I colour the pupil already? I think I've done the pupil already. <laughs> Have I done that pupil already? red oh now i'm going to do the red mark going down his face so yeah i've done the people already mate i've done that so quick i didn't even notice all right so this was a little bit difficult at first because you've got to try and give it a bit of definition you know like the shape that he had on his eye so i was like mm, i'm not sure about that but that's what i like about gel paint you can just wipe it off and start again I'm trying to stay, see that cross? That's where I was trying to stay, in that cross. So I thought I'd get a tiny little bit of black and some red and mix it up just to get a darker colour to that line. Mix, 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 Did I add a little bit of clear just to water it down a bit? I might have done, I don't know. No, I didn't. Just drag my brush through it, but it's not a problem now. So now you see you got a bit of a darker line. It's a bit thick. <clears throat> I do go around with it in the end. Trust me, I do. I go around with it in the end with a brush and just tidy it up. Da -da -da -da. That's so thick. Oh lordy lordy, that's really thick. Yeah, I definitely tidied that up. That's way too thick. That's not like the one I've got on my picture. <laughs> I quite like doing videos. I don't know. Anyway, so I just get my brush and I just clean it up. Ugh. Clean up what I can. Try and tidy it up a bit. Trying to make it a bit neater really and even. My nails look rough, boy. I had to cut my thumbnail down because my thumb saw and the plaster I stuck on it wouldn't fit. So I had to cut my thumbnail down and my thumbnail was long. Gutted. So, just clean up. There we go. Eesh. Oh, what's the matter with you, love? Just clean it up. That's better. Tidy it up. Make sure it looks even. And once you're happy with it, just finish off what needs finishing off. I thought I'd put a little bit more dark under the eye. And then for what I do is I'll bake it. So what I do is I give it a matte top coat because I feel that once you've done that, it gives it more definition, especially when you put the clear, you put a clear shiny coat on the iris. So a matte top coat that, and then I cured it for 30 seconds because that's what it reads on the bottom. And there you go, all matte top coated. So now what I do is I get a little bit of a, non-white top coat and I just put it on the iris just to give it a bit more definition and make it stand out a bit um, just be careful how you do it just do it slowly take your time don't rush and then you won't make a mistake and make it look shh right I will be doing I have done the balloons I've got to make that video I'll be doing the it and then I'll do a, th a different picture on the one spare finger um, thanks for trying to watch this video Look at that eye, boy. Uh -huh. um, please hit like and subscribe. Ta-da!